Okay, now let's talk about another type of screening. It is called the white blue screening. It's actually a type of biochemical approach for the screening of a particular gene of interest. For example, say this is our plasmid, and somewhere here at the middle of this beta galactosidase gene of the plasmid, there lies the restriction site. Okay, or say the multiple cloning site. Now here is the cloning site for uh, eco R1, right? So this is the co-cloning site for say eco R1, which is placed just just somewhere middle of this beta galactosidase gene. Okay, now once the foreign DNA is is inserted into this restriction site which is placed just somewhere middle in the beta galactosidase gene after the incorporation of the foreign dna here it will disrupt the beta galactosidase gene okay so this is the basic concept when the foreign dna is attached and the recombinant dna molecule r r rdm recombinant dna molecule is generated in that case it will disrupt the beta galactosidase gene so the beta galactosidase gene will be no longer functional in the RDMs. Then you transfer it into the bacterial cell and we start or uh, keep on growing. And we must have attached the ampicillin uh, resistant or tetracycline resistant markers in these uh, vectors so that it can grow onto uh, ampicillin uh, added, added plate or tetracycline added plate. Okay, now what is the basic thing is there? In this plate, we must have added the ampicillin or tetracycline, which is a selectable marker here. Suppose here is the selectable marker is ampicillin. Along with that, we provide the substrate for the beta galactosidase, which is called X gal. So we are providing both the things together. We are providing X gal and also ampicillin as a selectable marker. Now, what happens here if uh, the foreign DNA is not inserted into this uh, position, uh, into this restriction site position of this vector, then what will happen? It does not. It will not disrupt the beta galactosidase gene. So that the beta galactosidase enzyme will be translated and it will be activated. Then this gene can utilize uh, the substrate X gal and it can break the substrate X gal and it will produce a blue colored product. Okay, so it will give us a blue colored product. So those bacterial cells consisting of the plasmids which are not recombinant, which are simply uh, not receiving any foreign DNA, will give us this blue colored colonies as you can see in this picture. Okay. On the other hand, when the foreign DNA is inserted onto this restriction site, it will disrupt the beta galactosidase gene. As a result, when we insert it and plate it here, so what will happen as the beta galactosidase gene is disrupted, so no beta galactosidase uh, protein will be made. So as a result, this X gal cannot be converted into the blue colored product. So it will remain white in color. So the colonies which are white in color is telling us that those colonies is consisting of the plasmid or the vector which is which is not incorporated or which does not have any incorporation of the foreign DNA. Okay, so from this screening we can uh, look for uh, whether uh, the insertion is happening properly or not. Okay, we cannot screen out our desired gene from the cDNA libraries using this process, but we can use this process and this process is vigorously used used for uh, screening out the recombinant DNA molecule.